don't think there's anything in here though because I think they all escaped. Nope, just kidding. I'm eating my words. I know you guys can't see me, but well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms, kind of. It is day one of Iowa Shotgun Deer Season 2022. And you got Goovis and Ron here with you. Goober. Goober, yeah. whatever, you, whatever you prefer. I don't care, I'm not gonna call you that anyway. As I have mentioned in previous videos, I want to show everything that goes on on our farm on this channel. And deer hunting is a part of that. You know, Pat, Curtis, and Nathan are all down, are gonna be out deer hunting down south. Me, my brother, and, and my dad are going to be deer hunting up north. So today we are going to be doing some deer drives. It is a form of hunting that is very, very common in eastern Iowa. You can't speak worth a today. I can't speak worth a anyway. You just can't see it because I edited it. And what that is is we have basically two groups of people that go in. We have drivers and we have blockers. Drivers push the deer to blockers. It is, like I said before, a very common form of hunting in eastern Iowa because the deer population is very high, especially this year. Hence, well, I guess you guys haven't seen the video yet, but I told my car two weeks ago on a deer. Really nice deer, actually, but on a deer. So deer driving is a very, very effective way to help control the population. And it's like I said, it's a very common practice around here. We do it ethically, we do it safe. And I'll explain that a little bit more. But it, like I said, it is a form of hunting that not everyone agrees with. And if you don't agree with it, that's perfectly fine. I respect your opinion. But that is what we're gonna be doing today. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. But let's get into it, Wolbert. You bet. Well, good morning, everyone. It's seven o'clock on Saturday morning, and this is a very special day in Jackson County. Oh, throughout Iowa, I guess. It is the first day of shotgun season. First Saturday in December, we hunt, and we are about ready to go do our first drive. So we will get some footage, hopefully some good footage today in Iowa, chasing the big buck. So, hey, we'll see you in the woods. So as I was mentioned before, we're gonna put an application of pesticide on today because the deer, especially in our area where we don't have flat, nice, good Iowa ground, we have hilltops and valleys and the deer roam everywhere and they honestly destroy a lot of crops. We usually write off the outside 12 rows of every cornfield just because the deer just destroy it. So in the population, the herd needs to be managed. I mean, if we don't do that, there will be a lot more accidents. Like I said before, I wrecked my car a couple weeks ago because it wasn't deer season yet. Third, the herd hasn't been thinned out. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Bobby and I are gonna be blocking down at the bottom of the hill. We're dropping the drivers off and we're gonna walk from the highway all down. You can kind of see nobody has their guns and anything out yet because we're still on uh, public property. Hey. Shoot straight. Hey, shoot straight, would ya? Never. I shoot like a stormtrooper. <laughs> So Bobby and I are going to be blockers on this video. We're going to be, or on this drive, we are going to be setting up in the timber that we always do. So if you guys want to check it out, I explain it really well in this video right here, which would have been the first deer drive video of last year. But we are going to go ahead and be blocking on the south side of this drive. And usually we see a deer. I've only ever done this drive in the last four years once where we didn't see a deer. That was last year, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> It might be him. I think it's his fault. And just so you guys know, when we get out in the woods, it may sound like I'm talking really loud, but I can manipulate the audio. So for example, I'm talking the same tone, but now I'm really quiet and now I'm really loud. So I can manipulate the audio. So even though it sounds like I'm like screaming in the woods, I'm really not. I just have a, a GoPro on my head and I'm just talking right to it. How about that blind right there? The one that's the corn? Oh, yeah. I hate, the hay bale. I mean, that's what I meant, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna take our yeah, truck okay. on the far side and walk yeah, in from there. But where are you going to post up? Right here on the corner or up? Help a little bit. <laughs> never, never slam the door. Oh my god, just shut it. Just shut it. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> shut the... There you go. Oh my. Bunch of yahoos, I tell That's you what. I'm saying. Did Done. you know trucks had four-wheel drive? <laughs> Who would have thought? I do now. Door open. Blame you. Shut it already. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to this gate right there. And then, so all of us are licensed in the state of Iowa. So to deer hunt for shotgun season, you need to have your hunting license. You also need to have a deer license and you need to have a tag. So there's a couple different types of tags. You can have an any tag, you can have an antlerless tag, and I believe there's now a herd thinning tag. I'm not 100% on that one, but I'll have to look into that because I believe uh, we have this disease in the deer population that's coming down from Wisconsin called CWD or chronic wasting disease. Basically the deer just kind of more or less loses their mind and it's it's not good it's kind of 
sad. So more, I'll try to see if I can get a little bit more info on that. But we all, we all are licensed. We're heading to our first drive. Our guns are in our cases right now because when you're in a moving vehicle, four wheeler, truck, anything like that, all of our guns have to be in a sleeve or case or whatever. So we're getting ready to roll. I'm gonna head right in there. We're gonna be the last ones to get set up because how the wind is, the wind's going from where we're at over. So it's actually kind of opposite of what we want for this drive, but just as what it is. We're just gonna, so we might not see a bunch, but who knows? Cool, ready to go. That was the first shot. It wasn't us though. So we're walking in right now. All of us have split up. We're gonna come at this valley. And yes, I am whispering. I just had the volume turned up, like I said. Okay, we're just about ready to start this drive here. So we're gonna push this all the way down. Hopefully we get a few shots, so let's find out. Okay, so we are set right now. My shooting lanes are anything in front of me, anything to right here. And then after that, Jesse's right there. How is my GoPro dead already? This is dumb. Man, I'm having so many GoPro troubles this morning. Five minutes later, so my shooting lane is anywhere right here. This is kind of ledge right before the bottom, right about the bottom. That's my shot, about 75 yards down. One of the drivers just had a shot there. One shot, hopefully it means one kill. Because this is what I was worried about. The wind is actually blowing the blocker scent up the valley. So as soon as we got in here, the deer were running that way, I bet. That's probably what happened. There's just one shot from a driver. Folks, you got Bob. I'm kind of cold. That is all for now. That guy's hurt. He's not moving very fast. But I'm not going to shoot him because if I shoot him, there's going to be a deer. I'll explain that in a little bit. But yeah, Kyle, right there. Now, as soon as I see a blocker, he's down. Our driver. Four shots from three different people. Turkey. I doubt I see anything here. That was toad. So five shots from four different people. Jeez, impressive. Drive is done. So I know some people will disagree with me in the comments and I would love to talk to you guys down below, but I don't shoot coyotes when I am blocking. When I'm driving, I don't care. But when I am blocking, the day I shoot a coyote before the drive is done is the day that a big one will skirt out early because they heard my shot. And another reason why I didn't shoot that coyote because it was definitely wounded. It was not moving very fast. So coyotes need to move fast for them to survive because they need to move fast to kill things. So even though yes, coyotes can kill deer, when they're young and stuff like that. I just, I'm out here deer hunting, I'm not coyote hunting. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Hey, so that one shot we heard early, we got one deer down for sure. Nice. See anything, Lynn? Huh? See anything? Three deer, three dogs, three bucks. Ooh, where the butt, would they go south? Oh, okay. So six deer on this side, but like I said, they moved early. Bobby, was those shots above you? Yeah. So I thought. So we got three deer down. Greg got one up on top at the beginning. Those are those two shots. 
Ducky has a buck down right here. There's one deer down up on top of the hill. Not bad for the first drive. And I looked at him. Okay, we just finished up the I first drive. <laughs> a couple big bucks come through here. I don't you know if there's some shots huh? down below, but we did one. get one. <laughs> I didn't even shoot my gun. Well, there were a couple of shots over here, though. Yeah. I think that was Ducky. One, one spike and buck here is laying here. So and there's that? some we'll shots down there, so at. we'll figure it out when we get down the there. Woo! Hot dang, Ducky. I think it's a neck on him, right? No kidding. Damn. Big boy. Giant. Oh, it's been yeah. so long, I don't even know if they know how to gut this stuff. This is interesting. Yeah, it looks better from this side. Yeah. Split brow. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> log pile, I was actually sitting in a log pile over there. It looks like he swallowed a bowling ball. <laughs> Off to the next one. So we just got up here. We're unsle unsocking our guns, loading them up. We saw four deer kick out of this and go away from us back there. So that kind of sucks, but oh well. But we did see a couple more deer are still in here. So hopefully we can get them. Shoot straight, Packy. As you did, he got one down. Oh yeah. Nice. Big, big brute. Well, boys and girls, we are doing our second drive. I blocked the first drive. We got three deer. I saw a button buck, but there was nothing else going to shoot at. Um, now I'm driving this drive. I saw some deer kick out. Ronald already said that, but now it's time to blammo. Well, we had five deer get out of us in between Bobby and Ted. They all busted out there a decent buck, and then. Uh, Four does, I think. Got one. Ted got one shot at him, but didn't have much. And my GoPro was in my pocket because the drive just didn't even start. They busted back into the wind, so that was kind of surprising. Oh well, what do you do? Hopefully, there's more in here. But they all ran. We probably kicked eight deer out going back that way. That sucks. Well, that sucks. But what do you do? That's hunting. We've never done it this way, so now we know. We need four people on this side. So they just busted right into the wind. Turning our way through, we just got a big old line. I don't think there's anything in here though, because I think they all escaped early. One buck and a lot of does. Nope, just kidding. I'm eating my words. Two shots. I lied, I'm eating my words. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't a complete disaster, but this could have been done a lot better. I'm definitely making notes when we do this on Monday, because we'll do this exact same thing again. Hope the wind's not out of this direction. What do you do? At least we got some shooting in. It's not good when the drivers shoot, because like I said, Ted shot before, and that's not good, because that means we weren't set up right, and they ran right through the gap, and Ted just had a, a decent shot at one. I will say this though, if you guys are deer driving, it's almost impossible not to get a shot when they're not, when they're not, not on the run. I mean, the whole point is to get this deer moving. That's the whole point of a drive. That's my two cents on that. Hopefully we got one deer down though. There's, if you go up another 30 yards, it's much easier. If I ever told you how much GoPros suck in the cold? Yeah, they're straight terrible. But, so I thought I was recording for the last five minutes. Here we go, this though, nothing happened. This drive's just about over. But we're almost to the spot where I uh, had a nice 100 yard shot on a doe at the top of this hill. Caught that video right here. Whew. So there's some of the blockers. We're just about over with. Then we're gonna do this hillside. I think it was about right here where I blam the gal. Right here. Drives over, but I see Daniel made some friends. What'd you name her? Fuzzball. Fuzzball. Doesn't have a fuzzy head. How long was she there? Uh, five minutes. Oh, yeah, cause. <laughs> Big black deer. Well, we're just going to start the next drive. All right, we're just starting the next drive. I'm up on top. Those two, we're gonna have one at the bottom down there, another one way over there. Because what's gonna happen is there's a finger right there, two people are gonna push. They're either gonna run that way to blockers or run to us. I think they're gonna run to that way because the wind's blowing our scent this way, so I don't think they're gonna run at us. But then once that's done, we're gonna walk over and push that timber that way to more blockers. Clear as mud. All right, we're gonna start drive number three. 
I'm blocking this time. We're gonna have people fanned out at the edge of this base of this hill, kind of going that way a little bit. Then I'm here, there's my toesies. I have a good shooting lane at this hill. Nice safe backdrop. And then we got a couple more hunters over there. They're gonna go a little more further down, kind of wrap around a little bit on this hillside. Hopefully it's blammo season. Yeah, there's definitely steam coming from there. No idea what's in there, but I don't want to find out. The deer might come at me this way, so my shooting lanes are right here. Break is dead right there. And then anywhere over here, Jesse and my other blocker is right there. So, I just know where those are at. I, Jesse is all below me. He's anywhere past that, I'm good. He's still making noise. Come on, do it. Scream. Well, I really hope that was recording then because there were just four shots. The, Go this GoPro is absolute trash. So I do apologize, I'm just getting a new one tomorrow. I'm bringing my other one tomorrow. But, so we just had four shots right over there. But from the driver right there, five shots. No idea what he's shooting at or where, but there's a grouping of four and that last one. Cool, hope we have at least one deer down over there, but I see Scott, oh man, another hole. Now we'll go push that other side. Deer track. I don't know how fresh, but that was one. Whew. Love the sound of a spring. Sounds so cool. And now we're pushing. The whole point of a drive is to coordinate in line and just walk slowly through the timber. Don't need to crash through it. Just walk slowly and the deer will the deer will move. We don't want them to move. We don't want them to sprint. That way when they get to the blockers, they have a halfway decent shot. That's the whole point. Buck, nice buck. Real nice buck. Nice buck up on top of the hill. Straight ahead of us. So I saw a real nice buck. Cross the valley, go up on top of the hill. Had an okay shot at it. He never really stood broadside, but he wasn't sprinting, so I didn't, decided not to take it. Just to uh, not spook him. Another one right there. They're in here. Hopefully I can get him. Hey, that's my first deer I saw. Yeah! I think I see a coyote too. There he is. Yeah, he's a little far away. Coyote right there. There's trees in my way. Now that coyote, I'd shoot at that thing. But I didn't really have a clear shot. Well, we know there's two deer in this drive, so let's hope we hear some blam in here soon. Hoping I see him in there. At some point, because the last, we just went up and over a hill. The last valley I got to, I was able to see him. Let's hope we see him here soon. I haven't heard any shots. We still got a little ways to go in the drive. It's pretty wide open right here, so if something was there, I'd be able to hear it. Or sorry, see it. Yeah, the deer are probably, if they're still in here, they're probably halfway up that hill by now. That was us. Right there. Get him! That's a coyote. That's a coyote. Hey, Yodi. Bye bye, Yodi. There's the bud man. They just got done with that drive and didn't have anything except Scott the driver. And how the last three years, this is the only drive time I've never 
not driven that one, ever not driven that one, and Scott gets five shots. <laughs> Dang it. Oh well. So I will say this. You guys are entitled to your own opinion just like I'm entitled to mine. But if you guys are knocking on our way of hunting and you prefer sitting in blinds, which like I said, I have nothing wrong with sitting in blinds. But I wouldn't knock this because this is a lot harder than sitting in a blind all day that could have heat and, and cook breakfast in or whatever. I know this isn't the roughest terrain in the world, but this is not the steep, not the nicest with the burrs and hills and all that. So that's just my two cents. Deer driving is a lot harder than sitting in a stand. And sorry, when I meant stand, I meant blind. Because a tree stand, that's a very tedious way of hunting that I just don't have, don't have the fortune to I'm unfortunate not to have the time for with harvest. Okay. So I got myself a deer. Pretty happy with that. Got myself a deer. Okay, what you... It's getting back up. Coyote. Oh, the thing. Oh, I need more ammo. Run out ya! That thing's coming down. Bud! There he goes. Good shot, Budley man. There's that buck that I saw. Cool. That was the one I saw. Cool, well, that worked. Got another buck down. Lucky, right place, right time because, so the buck skirted here, ran right to James. James shot twice, hit it once, and I saw it jump. I didn't have the camera turned on in time, so I apologize for that. And then the deer ran right there, right to my dad. One shot, one kill. So it's just sitting right there, and it's right next to the road. Cool. So my dad, honestly, it's lucky he was there because he's just walking back from that drive. That drive's over, so he was just uh, right place, right time, that's for sure. So that's probably the last deer in here because the mature bucks, the ones that are the the, uh, the biggest, they typically are the last to leave a, uh, a timber because they just wait, they only get so old because they're smart, but they just wait and wait and wait and bide their time and then get out of there when they think they can run or when they think they have a spot. But he unfortunately didn't make it. Cool. Or sorry, fortunately didn't make it. Okay, I didn't have my camera on. Bad for me because a deer came out of there. Who's ever down the bottom shot at it. And that was back there, 80 yards away. And I took one shot. And I think I dropped it. So let's see. It was a nice buck. You can see the rack. Come right down through there up and let's see what we got up here I haven't shot one like this in a long time I think this drive is all but over here soon so I just gotta go another hundred yards and we'll be on the should be a blocker here blocker there I'm guessing so that buck must have just jumped about right here ran across James was sitting right at that gate ran across got shot twice by James hit once ran up to my dad now the last step he took my deer must have been a gut shot because he's paralyzed and he just kept on going. So as you can see, there's a little bit of blood. There's a nice blood trail here. Real obvious. So it must have been a gut shot. Finish him so he doesn't suffer. So I guess I haven't really mentioned we have four deer right now, at least. I'm not sure if we got another one down over here. Actually, no, five deer because we had three that first drive, a really nice buck, a basket rack, and then a small doe that my Steve, my uncle shot. Ooh, there's a deer right there, straight ahead! Right out, Toad! Well, I didn't expect that. I didn't see her. She was just sitting right above me on the bluff and I heard her. Dang it. To be fair, that was a tough shot. She was on a dead on sprint. I think I missed. 
I missed in front of her the first time. Oh well, I thought there'd be a blocker there that they could have blamed as well. Guess not. In my opinion on shooting a running deer, it's a deer drive. They're gonna be running. If you don't shoot them while they're running, that just, that's just impossible. And Bobby's got a buck down on the other side. And, um, Here's where I got him. <laughs> I like it. Winged him. I was up there waiting. Oh man, nice deer. Got in a little fight. Yeah, he did. Cool. Well, let's drag him. Here's the day so far. This guy's got some character. He got in a couple fights. That's awesome. This is the one we just got. Bobby's got a buck down over there on the far side, and Scott's got a doe down way back there. Then we got that little basket rack, a nice buck you guys already saw, and then a little doe with that pack he got. Bobby's got a deer down, heading back to go get the deer and the John Deere buck. This little guy, but he's blammed. Your dad didn't think I could make it back here, so he gave me this stupid sled. Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to gut my own deer. It's pretty surgical over here. I'm <laughs> trying to keep this guy from getting bloody. <laughs> Alright, here, let me get the ribs for you. Be my guest. Oh, jeez. Trying to put a kill shot in him. And then I yank. Jesus, Bobby, blow his leg off. <laughs> yeah, that was shot number four, I think. Jesus. <laughs> Happy boy. Nice deer, Robert. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice one. Leg, front leg, right here. I'm guessing this is the kill shot. Boy, these two are fighting each other. They're definitely fighting. That's six, right? Yep. One, two, three. Holy f One, two, three, three. That's a haul out of here. Toad got a flat tire, so we all just stopped to change that. Yes, it took 12 people to change it. These two didn't help. And Bobby with the dead eye shot. At least dead eyes shot. Yeah, 100% accuracy on that deer. Four for four on that deer. Should be one for one like Bud Band, though. It would have killed it eventually. Now we're heading off to the last drive. It's two o'clock. Bud Man and his herd of seven caps. <laughs> Yeah, I'd put him yeah, right, right here. Right here, where they're, they're going to come right on this low spot. Exactly. I'll yep. go on that point where the grass is. Yep, and then I'll be on the other side of that. Right. Sorry for the wind, guys, but we're blocking the next field. It's very chilly up on top of this ridge. And, yeah, this is the last drive of the day. We have six deer down. As you saw, I had three shots of that doe. The last drive, Bobby got a nice, a decent buck. My dad and Jamie got a really nice buck. And Scott got a little doe, so we're up to six on the day. It's pretty good. So now we'll see what we see with this drive. We're getting out our last drive of day one today. We're gonna to do our park tongue property. We're gonna go up this hill that way and see if we can get some flamos. We got a deer, last drive. Um, took a lot of shots, four for four though. Uh, first shot would have been a kill shot, but uh, he was just gonna be bleeding out. It was kind of like in the front of the neck area. And then he kind of hopped up when we got closer. So then took a few more shots, but we got him. So yeah, good year so far. And it's only day one. Stay tuned for more. All right, the last drive of the day is starting. Got a blocker. Let me see if I can turn this thing. Yeah, I mean, I'll blocker a driver that way. Got another one to my right, but I can't turn the GoPro. See that plane right there? It's a DNR plane trying to spot illegal hunters. I almost guarantee you that's what that is. Still waiting. Don't know if you can figure out how steep this is, but this is me facing normal. This is about, about like a 15% grade incline. Someone just shot over there. It's just one shot, too. Yeah, it's a quick one, like a da Like it went into a hillside right away. Never mind. Make it more like 30%. Stoop. Here, dearie, 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 dearie. So, the reason why we're standing by the fence 
is that if we were up on top of the hill, the deer would skyline us with the feeds as we were basically up on top of the hill. You can see something a lot easier if it's six feet on the ground as opposed to just my head. Because I just need to have my head across so I can see. That's kind of why we're doing this. I thought I heard one shot earlier about that shot you guys, but other than that, I haven't ever really seen any. I missed the big one. I think I definitely missed it. <sighs> that thing was a monster. So he came right over the ridge, right where we were thinking she, he was gonna, or they were, could do. Just, <sighs> and I just missed. Driver just shot. <laughs> yeah, driver just shot in there. Driver just shot two more times. Oh, that was perfect timing. I was not expecting that. I was gonna say, hey guys, guess what? Big rock. Oh, let's take the gun off safety. Oh, what's a party over there. That sounded like it was across the valley. Just saw a doe about two minutes earlier. Go zoom. Just like that too. Zoom. Is that yours, Ronald? Maybe. Jeez. We got him. <laughs> That's one of the deer you see from like one, the... two, three. <laughs> and we didn't even think we hit him. Four, I is there a thumb war? Uh, is there? A... Oh no, that's his exit. That, no, mine are those two in the front. It's like one of those. Here, mine here, went straight through. Mine was like the broad side. So is that another one? Yeah. I hit him three times? Four times. Yeah, that's why I was souping there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I hit him once. Wow. Tags on. Legal clean kill. Some blood. Here's a lot of blood. Yeah. You, here's lung blood. So yeah, you definitely hit him closer here. <laughs> I wonder if I should have let him more. Guessing so, yeah. That's the kill shot right there, and that's just icing on the cake. Made him not go as far. Yeah, that's Ted's shots, and uh, I guess I need to lead deer more. <laughs> I'm like a solid foot away. Hey, they would have died. That's true, it would have died. died. You need to send me that pic. That's going to be the thumbnail of this yeah, video. Oh, I got it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Back on hard time. <laughs> nice wide mass. What are the middle ones called? Brow tines. Well, I don't feel as bad now. I thought I missed every one. Three for three, not bad. Boom. Now, Boom. heading back. So to recap on the day, we have eight deer down. Maybe nine, I haven't heard if we got two or three out of that last one. What are you looking at? Hey, what's going on? What are you, what are you looking at? You, 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 <laughs> you photo bombing my- uh, I, I am, I am. I want to make it on a Hartung Family Farms. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's my ugly Uncle Steve. Hey, easy trigger. <laughs> but I think we had a pretty good day today. One of the better days that we've had in a, a very long time, especially for when you see the nice quality of deer that we had, the three nice bucks we got. Pretty nice, sorry, four nice bucks, including his, his, his monster. Tatanka. Tatanka. <laughs> so once I get the deer hanging, I'll show you guys, but overall, pretty nice day. Here's how we end the rest of the night. Hang deer. We usually don't clean on the first day. We hang deer, eat some food, and drink some beer. Like we didn't see enough deer today, there's three more right in the yard. Little babies, but. Can I have a with the people? Any connection or just random?